out now. Look how Jesus identified himself. Look how Jesus identified himself. It says in verse 4, a prophet. He didn't say the Messiah. He said a prophet. He didn't say the Savior of the world. He didn't say Emmanuel. Amen? Amen. He didn't say his high lofty title. He said a prophet. Okay? A prophet in the, in, um, in the Hebrew um, uh, the, the Hebrew equivalent, it means the beholder. Catch this. I want you to catch this. Catch this. Catch this. Catch this. Right? The beholder of vision. Wow. The beholder of divine revelation. Right? Meaning what? What God, Jesus is here saying is, that he's not talking about just people who are called to the prophetic ministry. He's talking about all of you who have a vision. He's talking about all of you who have a dream. He's talking about all of you who God has spoke to and said, you know what, I want you to do this. And that's what you've been trying to do for the past year and a half. Amen. Amen? Amen. He's talking to you. He's saying that you as a beholder of vision are not going to be accepted by the people who are around you. Right? This is encouraging because check this out. Check this out. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. What you don't understand is that the fact, hear me now, hear me now. The fact that the people who are close to you have rejected you is confirmation that the vision that you have is really from God. Amen. The fact that you that you're being rejected by the people you know and love is confirmation, is a sign that God is with you and that the vision that you're trying to accomplish is from the Lord. Because here Jesus is saying a prophet or beholder of vision is not without honor but in his own country and among his own kin and in his own house. Meaning that that is a fruit of the fact that I have a vision. That is a fruit of the fact that I have a dream. That is the fruit of the fact that I know what God's will is for my life and I'm walking toward it. Right? That is a sign. That is to let you know or to encourage you to let you know that you know what? Don't give up. You are on the right track. God is with you. Amen. That in spite of the fact that people have rejected you, that they don't believe in you, that they have said all kinds of negative things about you, the fact of the matter is, as long as God is for you, who can be against you? Amen? Amen? Amen. Joseph had vision. His brother didn't like it. Amen. Amen. Joseph had a vision and his brother didn't like it. It wasn't that Joseph, it wasn't that Joseph was trying to be high-minded. It wasn't that Joseph was trying to, to flaunt that he had a, a dream or a vision. He was just excited. And a lot of us, that's how we are. We get a vision, we get an idea, we get excited. You don't mean to offend anybody by letting them know what your idea is. You're just excited by the idea. And you are looking for support, yeah. right? And that's what Joseph was looking for when he went to his brother and he told them his dream. He was looking for support. He was looking for, you know what? I believe you could do that. I believe you could accomplish that. But in the end, he found what? He found rejection. And catch this, watch this. And the rejection, hear me, please hear me. The rejection put him on the path to the blessing. Because had he not been rejected, how would he have gotten to the palace? If he was never sold into slavery by his brother, how could he have gotten to the palace? That's what set him in the set the, uh, the things in motion for him to, to realize his dream. Stop looking at the rejection as so much of a heartache. I know it's uncomfortable. I know it hurts, but recognize it for the blessing that it is. It's the what it. The rejection is the birth pain for you to push out your dream. It's the contraction. It's what is causing you to push. It's what's causing you to be uncomfortable enough to bear through the pain of going through your vision. Amen. Amen. 
It's what's sending the things in motion for you to recognize and realize your dream. God has great things for us, but we have to be one to go through the fire. We have to be one to go through the mud to get to it, amen?